Jaleel out one to two weeks? How does he kind of feel, and what do you, how do you sort of gauge his progress? Uh, I think he's making good progress. You know, he, he he's a quick healer for some reason. You know, what I mean, you know, even the toe that he had, uh, you know, he came back and played and had no no problem whatsoever. So uh, it's just one of those, and he made he made good progress already. So uh, you know, just too bad because I was hoping that we'd be able to play him a lot during the. Uh, preseason get him kind of accustomed to the system and because uh, I think he was making good progress in that uh, area right there. He's a guy who's theoretically not guaranteed to a deal. He's not, you know, how does that change your process of evaluating that he's really not going to no, be out for the last no, two weeks? Okay. No, it doesn't change, it doesn't change mine at all, okay. you know. Uh, I mean, he's a good young player that, uh, you know, is trying to find his way in this league. You know, he's 22 years old, so... Uh, I like what he brings to the table. I like the skill set. So, you know, we'll see what happens with him. Nico and Darius came back and yeah. really changed practice. Really, really did. It really did change practice and the way, you know, everything flows. And, excuse me, when you add those two guys back to the mix, obviously you get much better shooting. And so the driving kicks today were uh, much more productive than they, they have been because you're throwing it to two guys that are, you know, really good shooters. Coach, what positives are you taking away from the Hawks and the Bulls games? Oh, I think we did a lot of good things. You know, obviously the first half uh, we tried to play, you know, somewhat of a rotation that you might see. And then the uh, second half, you know, not playing AD and those guys at all. Obviously the game is going to change. But uh, I thought that we got done what we, we needed to uh, in those first 24 minutes. And so what we have to do now is try to expand it out a little bit. Do you think uh, the pace was where you wanted yeah. to be at in those two games? I think so. I think we're at a good pace. I still think that we have to get better, and we'll get better with the pace as we get better conditioning. Uh, I thought today was much, much better. We, when we play these, uh, you know, these four-minute games to see if we can stay at a real, real high uh, pace for those four minutes, and then you know we'll add six minutes, eight minutes, uh, as, as uh, you know, in the next, you know four or five practices of games and try to get it to the level where we wanted to have it. We, we were focused on how Julius felt after the Atlanta game as far as the fall that he had. We didn't really get to ask you about um, how he played these first two games. What, what do you like about just the way that he's playing? Oh, I just think, like I said, I think he brings a physicality to the game that helps us. Uh, you know, he's a terrific passer and a willing passer. Uh, you know, so that uh, in itself will help us because uh, we like for our big guys to be facilitators also. Uh, there's a, uh, just a toughness about him that I think really helps. And, uh, you know, he's a guy that uh, really likes playing, and uh, I think he likes the system that we play in, and I think he's going to have, you know, a real productive year, really. How does that help your system having a, a big guy that can facilitate the way he and AD can? Well, it's good because we had the same thing with DeMarcus. You know, DeMarcus is a really good passer. So I think anytime you add a big guy to the mix that can can make passes and can make plays, uh, not just for each other, but you know for other pr people on the floor, uh, the way we play, I think it's, it, it really helps. Coming in, I know you said you expected a little bit of chaos. Did you feel like you guys played mostly in control despite the pace being 120? Yeah, we did. You know, we did, and I think some of the turnovers uh, that we had, you know, especially the one we had 18 turnovers. I think some of those uh, are just you know, not being familiar with the people that you're playing with. Uh, you know, and then some of it is just like, we're just going too fast right now. But uh, if you go back and uh, look at the game, uh, I was pretty happy. I, I think, you know, those 18 turnovers we have can all of a sudden become 12. You know, and if it becomes 12, then we're in great shape, I think. You playing the bump up minutes for guys today? A little bit, maybe. A little bit in New York, for sure, and then, uh, we're, we're going to decide how we're going to handle the last two games, but uh, there's going to be one probably where, you know, the guys are not going to play at all, maybe, you know, and so we'll see.